what's up guys? We're in Los Angeles, Point of Degree Theater tonight, and this is our home on wheels. Welcome to the tour bus. This is our living room. This is where um, everyone just hangs out before in the morning after the show. Comes like fully with like kitchen. This will normally be like where I edit. Then we got the bathroom right here. No pooping loud. <laughs> got the, the freezer and the fridge. So like, you can really live on here and it's actually mad comfortable. This is all of our beds. So right now there's, I think 10 people. So this is me down here. It's like, it seems small, but it's actually really comfortable. And this is the back lounge. So this is where like, we set up the studio, you know, we just chill, work, hang out, all that stuff, man. So what we're about to do is, we just got to LA. Uh, tonight is a show at the Greek Theater. This is my Pelican case, and I recently got this, and it's helped me so much because I have a lot of gear. So like right now in here, I have a film camera, Pentax 6-7. I have my drone, you know, random stuff. Pull it away, this is what I need to take into the venue. Every single venue we have a day sheet so we know what's going on. So we have meet and greet from 4.15 to 4.45. So I'm gonna scope out the venue, see how, the, how it's laid out, and then we'll start meet and greet. So this is what I'll be climbing. So I, I can literally climb all the way up there. Normally when I scope venues, like I'll also just get like establishing shots of the venue. Honestly, like, Nothing in specific other than how I can maneuver the fastest. So like, I get it, there's a ton of chairs, but like, I wanna know all the little back alleys and whatnot so I can just get from one place to another mad quick. So if I go from shooting a song on stage and I know I wanna be out in the crowd for the next song, I wanna know how I can get out here the fastest. I would always suggest having like more than one camera. Not that you need two DSLRs, because I've had two DSLRs, and it's not fun to maneuver, but to have like, your go-to camera and then like a little camera on the side so if that one dies or you run out of space, um, you can just switch over mad easy. So we're uh, doing a meet and greet right now. that I use, like so many. So I have this little camcorder, like Polaroid, my big camera, which is, I use the 1DX Mark II, a couple lenses, and a lot of film cameras. I have like four film cameras with me, so. This is like my over the shoulder bag, which it works great for just like everyday use, like my wallet and stuff, but sometimes for shows I can put like this camera in here. Um, I have another bag that I put on my hip to keep like a flash or a camera in so that it just makes everything easier. Like I try to utilize everything I have to fit gear. <laughs> this is the harness that I wear to um, climb to get like really dope angles and stuff. And after a couple shows, they made me wear this. It's literally like a rock climbing harness so that I don't fall. The lenses I have are the 24 to 105 on here. Right now I have the 24 to 70, and I also have a 12 millimeter Rokinon. I have the Canon 16 to 35, and I have the Sigma 35 millimeter. This whole tour, though, I've been using my 24 to 70 just because it literally does everything I need. You always want to make sure you have space on your card because you just never know um, what you're gonna have. And the last thing you want is to run out of space during a show. So like, I'm about to format this card, but I'm just gonna check my, my hard drive and just double check to make sure that I have the footage because so many things are happening and sometimes you just forget if you've done something or not. The artists start performing in about 35 minutes. 
sometimes in these moments you can either like get some quick shut eye because you don't really sleep much on the road but right now I'm about to drink some Red Bull and we're gonna go out and see if the fans are ready for the show so let's do it It's been an amazing right, tour so far. It's only the first one. I'm talking about The right. security guard right there, he said it's okay. Yeah. Oh, what we have is, that's the fact. Okay. Okay. So look, yeah, I'm usually, I'm got that they always want to try to enforce I'm cool. Make sure I got that. Sure I got that. I never hold listen. on, hold on. Fuck if you're not feeling judging. This sounds like you're bugging, cousin. Now listen, they're having a good time with the Beast Coast. Let me get it. Hell yeah. If y'all niggas is trying and y'all ready to go home, make some noise. <laughs> Fuck you too, dude. Fuck you too. I said, if y'all tired and y'all ready to go home, make some noise. 
Okay, that's what I thought. LA, LA, I just want to say you guys are amazing. That's it. I just want to say that. I just wanted your name and you ignored me and walked away. Now listen. We're going to do one more. Can I go do my time? No. And then uh, they save my time. We're going to do one more, okay? But we're going to get groovy on this. One more. What's that? That's off that all American badass one more? Can we do one more of that all American? At this point, like you go all over the video at this point, it's just about paying attention and like make sure you capture the right moments. All right, so I just did like episode 108 with Levi. Maybe I don't know what episode it was, but what's crazy is episode 102 was with this motherfucker. Episode 102 and 104 or some shit. No, episode 2 and episode 102. Crazy. Damn. Damn. I'm exhausted. Yo, so at this point in the show, pretty much wrapped up. Tonight we head out at 1 a.m. to go to Arizona. We dump out some cards. I really appreciate you guys coming along to see how my day went and how it is to be a videographer on tour shooting a show like this. So, have a good night.